from an imperial kiln to a modern capital of creativity, Jingdezhen fame stand the test of time. It's also been my home for more than 10 years. What makes it charm so enduring? I'm Camille from France. I will share with you my journey in this wonderful city. Hello, welcome to Chennai Talk. I'm Camille, a ceramic artist from France. Today, I would like to share with you my 10 years artistic life in Jingdezhen, China, ancient capital of ceramic. I'm from south of France. I used to think of myself as a traveler because I didn't like to stay in one place for too long. After I went to the Royal College of Art in the UK, I decided to settle my studio in Jingdezhen. In the past, I have been making ceramic in Switzerland, Netherlands, and in New York. After arriving in Jingdezhen, I found that that was the place of my dream. Jingdezhen has a very long history of making ceramic. I felt a strong sense of familiarity, as if seeing the past and future of ceramic all at the same time. Now, I have been in Jingdezhen for 10 years. However, I first arrived here there were also many things I couldn't adapt to, and languages was definitely the most difficult one. I remember once asking a local master craftsman for advice on ceramic skills. He couldn't understand me and refused me time to time. However, I've been patient enough, and after three years, I went back to see him, and eventually we ended up collaborating until now. Fitting in means falling in love with the natural environment here. There are mountains and water, waterfall. I enjoy taking walk in these places. I find harmony in the seasonal change of nature and I get inspired artistically as well. When I see ceramics on TV, I get very excited as I can also point out, wow, this big vases is from Jing De Jen or that flask is from Jingdezhen. I'm not someone who enjoys planning. I like to go with the flow. Perhaps this is why I feel so at home in Jingdezhen. The city offers a sense of comfort and ease that is not what we find in big cities like Beijing, Shanghai, London or Paris. I enjoy drinking Chinese tea. I like the smell of incense and reading the Chinese classic like a dream of the Red Mansion. I like to ride motorcycle and traverse the street and alley. I can unleash my inspiration to the fullest. This is one of my work. It's a rabbit. Last year, 2023, was the year of the rabbits. People from all over the world has been looking at the skies and the stars, astrology is an ancient science. In Chinese astrology, each sign is by year. In Western astrology, its sign is by months. In Jingdezhen, each year, people from different backgrounds we make the animal of the year. So this is the rabbit I made last year. In the ceramic industry, it is a complex process and people have a strong spirit of craftsmanship and camaraderie. Some spend their entire life training themselves to paint flower, some paint butterfly, and landscape, and some spend their entire life glazing or firing. Working with them is incredible. I like this kind of collaborative work and this kind of team-up feeling. You end up having much more than just being by yourself in the studio. Everyone here is my friends, colleague, or we all are a team-up. So I don't see Jingdezhen as a city. I see it as a huge studio. Jingdezhen has an history of thousands of years and is known to European who took a liking to the porcelain and custom made exquisite ceramic made in Changna town. Changnan sounds like China and that's how some believe the country got its name from one of its most famous exports in history. Later, Chinatown has become today's Jingdezhen. In recent years, auction have helped more people learn about Jingdezhen and its porcelain product. 
As a result, more and more foreigner artists like me are attracted and decided to base here. I think it's not just because Qingdezhen has developed so quickly, but also because of the atmosphere of the city. It's a place where people can have their own dream, a place where they can create their own art. I think the ceramic industry is a very honest industry, and you cannot lie about the time you spend on making a piece of work. You must go through a long period of training, firing, coloring, and waiting. My life is the same. During the 10 years here, I have been constantly learning and changing myself, meeting new people and feeling new emotions. Year after year, time has given Jingdezhen different meaning, from a royal workshop to a creative center. But the high regard for craftsmanship the city represents has never changed and will not change. As a French living in China, I'm glad to see our two countries celebrate 16 years of diplomatic ties this year. Like making ceramic, I think cultural exchange also takes time. Understanding between China and France, like understanding between any two cultures, requires investment of efforts. But what people don't realize is we have so much more in common. For example, Chinese people would say, and similarly, we in French say, pour garder un homme dans son cœur, il faut d'abord attraper son estomac. Both means to grab a person's heart is to grab their own stomach first. See, it's the same, right? We need to connect through these similar things. I don't like to say what kind of result we have achieved. It would be a long list. But I'm happy to think we have been always on the journey of exploring new medium and channel of communication in arts, music, fashion, or food. When we can think beyond that French people are romantic and Chinese people are reserved, you will find so much more fascinating common points in our two cultures. Let's create a more harmonious world together. Merci. Xie xie.